これはチャンスだ壁を壊せるのはあいつだけだあいつさえ仕留めれば Gruesome, sometimes disturbing anime and manga series Attack on Titan is pretty popular, but there have only been a handful of video game adaptations to varying degrees of success. Koei Tecmo's take is structurally nothing more than the Attack on Titan property grafted onto the Dynasty Warriors framework and painfully lacks any sort of gameplay variety, but its use of the series elements makes it a unique and sometimes exhilarating experience. Attack on Titan recounts the events of the anime and then some, telling tales past the show's first season and encroaching on the upcoming second. Each chapter is broken up into a handful of missions that set you on a map with specific objectives. These range from simply hacking Titans to bits, protecting a specific structure on the map, or escorting soldiers from point A to point B. This is as complicated as things get. The latter half of the game is unfortunately padded out, and to add length to the campaign, you are forced to complete dozens of small, formerly optional side missions before you can advance the story. These are monotonous and a total chore. You spend most of the game slinging through towns and forests using omnidirectional mobility gear, special machinery used to move through the air and scale heights quickly. Attacking Titans requires you to lock onto one of the giant's limbs and use your ODM gear to gain speed as you fly towards it. The faster you're moving, the greater the damage you'll do, and hopefully slice off its meaty leg or arm in one stroke. You can kill the monster for good by aiming for the nape of its neck. It takes some getting used to, and there is some nuance in learning when to deploy your anchors and when to use gas canisters to propel yourself forward or up. There is a severe lack of variety in mission structure, and if you've played a Musou game, the drill will be familiar. Once you've completed all of the map's required objectives, one final boss titan will appear for you to take down. These boss titans don't feel any different from the smaller monstrosities you encounter, and it's an easy kill. Even the different types of titans, big, small, beastly, armored, can all be taken down in the same way with very little strategy. In fact, even on harder difficulty levels, Attack on Titan presents rather simple challenges, making for some unappealing gameplay through the latter half of the campaign. The mission layout is the same for the multiplayer expedition mode, where you can team up with three other players to take on optional challenge missions. But there is no incentive to team up and take down a titan. You can simply zip to opposite sides of the map and route the enemy more quickly alone, with little fanfare or reward should you decide to work cooperatively. <laughs> Cutscenes aren't as dramatic as the show, but the visuals themselves are impressively good, like cells taken straight from the anime. This includes the absolutely horrifying and sometimes painful to look at titans. Their sexless bodies are entirely naked. More than once, I found myself hurtling towards the ground with a giant butt directly in front of my face or trapped beneath the quivering belly of a downed titan. Most of the time, the frame rate held up, but when the screen started to fill up with those titans, things became muddy. The action slowed down, and the lag prevented me from landing hits. Attack on Titan also includes an oversimplified equipment upgrade and modification system that makes your blades slightly more powerful or grants you longer aerial time. After a certain point, you can also choose which character you play as, which is fun, but what matters the most in Attack on Titan is its excellent traversal system, in which you use the ODM gear to fly through the air, whip across skylines, and swing around trees and titans like some kind of anti-gravity Tarzan. It feels so good to sling between buildings, nailing titans in the nape of their neck for the one-shot kill as you fly from objective to objective. I felt powerful and free, like I was actually living in the Attack on Titan universe. The Odium gear is such a hallmark of the show, and having it done justice in the form of a gameplay mechanic was thrilling. This game lets you get up close and personal with those terrifying titans that make the series so great, and that is enough to make the game worth your time. Attack on Titan may have some technical issues and is systematically simple, but it does justice to the Attack on Titan property. Well-trod Musou layout aside, it does an excellent job making you feel like you're part of the fray in humanity's war, battling titans and swinging through the skies with futuristic military gear.